Is that your wife, brother? Me? I don't think I stutter. Oh, no, I couldn't hear you when I was a kid and made me blue. My Is that your wife, brother? Yes, that's, that's that's my wife. Then you are married to an unclean woman, brother. Excuse me? She bathes daily, bro. She, she had a dirty. Lost. Read. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such Girl. as elaborate hairstyles and wearing of yeah. gold jewelry or fine clothes. Gold jewelry and fine clothes. Hey, man, can we discuss this another Yeshua time? Yeshua does not approve me. Hell no, he Resist the devil and he shall flee. Hey, bro, I'm not Satan. Get behind me, Satan. No, no, no. Hey, I'm trying to be cool with you. We love the same God. Get me behind me, Satan. Hey, I love Jesus, too. You love the Kalana. Kalana. Blue eye. Blue eye. Blonde hair, Jesus. Silky smooth. Shut your brain wash. No White wash. White wash. Slave master minded. Slave master minded. You love the Kalana. Blue eye. Kalana. Blonde hair. Is that your... All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's uh, name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, you know, this is another scoffer, you know, making a uh, a parody video, you know, uh, of the Israelites. Okay? And you see, you know, guys like this, you know, you know they have to, uh, they have to do these things, you know. You know, in order to fulfill prophecy, you see, because as the scriptures say, which we'll um, get in a moment, it says that there's going to be scoffers in the last days, you see. And I'll say this, this is nothing new, okay. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shai was mocked. Hey, the prophets are old. You know, we're, we're, we're the, uh, you know, the butt of jokes, so to speak, despised, you know. So, like I said, this is nothing new, okay? And, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not really surprised because this has been going on for the longest, okay? I'm saying within this generation, okay? This has been going on, you know, for the longest. We've been seeing videos like this for years and years and years. But I'll say this, as time goes by, the scoffing gets, you know, weaker. All right. It's it's less funny. And it's just. It's really lame, to be honest. Because, look. I'll say this. You know, we're the main focus. You know, of these people. OK. And the reason why I say that is because even though. You know, they, they, they see us as being something insignificant. In the back of their mind, they still have the um, the thought of, what if these guys are actually right? You know, that always, that always uh, comes to their mind, okay? And then I'll say this, as we're getting closer to the end, the things that we've been preaching and prophesying, it's coming to pass, Okay? And you can't really, you know, laugh at us anymore. You know, you can't talk your, you know, uh, your shit. All right. You see. And, you know, eventually all this mocking, all this little game playing is going to stop. All right. Look, judgment's really going to hit. And you people are going to have to deal with the consequences of your actions. All right. You're going to have to uh, face the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? Now, let me get this real quick. I'll start off with this. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. You see? 
there's going to uh, be scoffers in these last days. You know, they're going to make their little uh, parody videos. They're going to have, you know, their remarks. Okay. You know, they're, they're going to, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, laugh at us. You know, it is what it is. But look, as the scriptures say in the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7, it says, What here? It says, Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And I'll say this if you are mocking the men of the Lord, the prophets, really, you're mocking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because look, we're just ambassadors, you know, meaning we're representatives. That's all we are. We're just the messengers, okay? And we're just delivering the Heavenly Father's message to you people. So if you're scoffing us and you're mocking us, you're actually scoffing Yahweh Bashim Shai, which that's the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, being whom this world calls God. And Yahweh Shai, that's whom this world calls JC. Okay? You know? So, you're really in some shit when you do these things. Because this is going to come upon your own head at some point. You know? Eventually, you will be a, 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 a judged. Alright? Let me get this real quick. In the book of Sirach. And this is a Sirach chapter. Here we go. Sirach chapter 27. Actually, no, let me. Let me start at uh, 27. This is Sirach 27 and 27. And it says here. He that worketh mischief. It shall fall upon him. And he shall not know whence it cometh. Mockery and reproach are from the proud. But vengeance, as a lion, shall lie in wait for them. And you see, you all work mischief. Okay? And it's going to fall upon you. And it's going to come when you least expect it. You see? It's going to come, uh, come upon you when you least expect it. You know, in your security, as the scriptures say. Alright? And what does it say here? Mockery and reproach are from the proud. You're all really prideful, you know? You all really think that whatever the Heavenly Father, you know, has written, whatever He says isn't going to happen? You think it's a joke? You're, you're out of your mind. You're prideful. And pride is when one departeth from His Maker. And if you're not near, you know, uh, 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 unto the Most High... You're going to be destroyed in these latter days. And look, it's about to get serious out here. It's already pretty serious, but it's about to keep escalating. It's not going to stop. You know, it's like the old um, snowball effect. As that snowball keeps rolling down that, you know, hill, eventually it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you know? So that's what's happening in this world. These, uh, 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 you know, you know uh, 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 perilous times. You know, these days of evil is just only getting worse. Okay? It says here, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. And you see, when lions stalk their prey, they wait for the uh, uh, right, you know, moment to snatch, you know, their, 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 uh, you know, their, their prey, you know? They don't necessarily, you know, do things quickly. They wait for the perfect opportunity to stomp and, sna you know, like I said, snatch their victim. And that's what the Lord is going to do to you, uh, 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 you mockers out there and you scorners. It's just, it, it, just watch. Just wait. It, this stuff is going to come upon your own head. I'm telling you. All right. Now let me get one more scripture. All right. I want to get uh 
the book of uh, uh what is it um second corinthians 36 uh, about 15 yep start at 15 main point is actually in 16 though this is second chronicles 36 and 15 and the lord yahweh the power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers meaning the prophets the ones you see on the streets okay telling you to repent and telling you to get right the ones that you know that, that you're making parody videos of right the lord sent them okay rising of b times meaning early and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place and see the really worthy uh um we're the lord's hand all right we're the lord's hand Lord's telling you, look, grab my hand. Let me help you. But you people uh, keep knocking the, the Lord's hand out the way. Like I said, we're representative, representatives of the Lord. We're here to deliver a message so ultimately you can repent, so you can get right, so you can be safe when those evil days come. But you people are so prideful. All right, you're so prideful that you that, that, that you, you decide to laugh at us, make fun of us, and you don't take things serious. And this is why the Lord is going to destroy you. Okay, let me keep reading. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High, and despised His words, and misused His prophets, until the wrath of the Lord arose against His people, till there was no remedy. And see, that's when you people always want to get, you know, serious. You know, when, when all hell breaks loose, when things, you know, bad happen to you. That's when you want to get right. Why don't you get right beforehand? You know? Why don't you get right, you know, you know, during these times? But you know what? It's not meant for you. Okay. Well, let's look up a couple of these words. I'm just curious of what they um what they mean. So I want to look up this word mocked. Yep. Mock goes into uh, uh making jokes basically. Okay? Which we just saw that in the in the beginning of this uh lesson, you know, with that video. All right. Let's look up that word despised. Oh, to see us being, uh, uh, or, or, or to see the words as what being worthless. Okay, and that's how you 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 guys see, you know, uh, the Bible as being useless. It's just an old book. You know, you know that, that that's in the ancient world. We don't need to follow that anymore. It says misused the prophets to see this misused a oh, ridicule <laughs> yep to mock and ridicule us see all right that's what they do man till the wrath comes to tell all of a sudden you see troops in your streets okay you can't you know walk outside of your house you're barely eating you know, storms destroying, you, you know, uh, your neighborhoods. You know, uh, uh, Arctic, you know, uh, blast. You know, uh, 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 you know, uh, freezing you to death. That's when you want to take it serious. Oh, when you're getting drafted to World War Three. You know, that's when Jake wants to take things serious. But by that point, it's too late. You seek the Lord while he may be found. Okay? Alright? But uh, I'm going to end this lesson. You know, just got another knucklehead out there. You know, th you know think of this as funny. Yeah, but this is serious business that we're uh, talking about. Like I said, you know, our people are going to, you know, soon realize that, what, hey, those guys, those crazy guys on the corners... 
you know, with Bibles in their hands, they're going to realize that they, 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 they were right. And that they should have listened. All right, but I'm going to end this lesson. And uh, whoever, whoever was listening, I hope was edified. And, you know, just, I'll say this, you know, especially for younger brothers, don't get too mad when, you know, guys like this make videos on you. Or, you know, someone, you know, in the streets starts laughing or mocking you, you know, while you're teaching. Don't get too upset. Remember, somebody has to, you know, be a part of that, uh, part of that group that's, uh, you know, going to be the scorners and mockers. Okay? Hey, just keep preaching and keep teaching. That's your job. And eventually the Lord's going to get guys like this. See? All right, but I'm going to end this lesson with that. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Shimei Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.